House of Dallas Papa was cracking its deep about to react to this vet is titled Uncle Ron's Mysterious Death. The bodyguard who knew too much about Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Diddy. So, I saw this mention on another video I reacted to, but I was like, mm, is he really dead? Mm, is this just a rumor? But maybe he really is dead. That's very suspicious. Because this man has been very vocal about what he knew about, you know, Beyonce and Jay-Z, and now you just turned out dead? That's crazy. Very suspicious. Let's see what's going on. Let's watch. Hey, this is everybody's Uncle Ron. And you are not my uncle. This. Oh, RP uh, though. Within the next couple <laughs> months, a whole lot of new stuff forgot, is going to surface. A whole lot of new names are going to come up that you guys were not aware of. In this video, we are doing a deep dive on Uncle Ron. Now, Uncle Ron isn't your typical uncle. He's actually a bodyguard and has been a bodyguard for some of the biggest names in music. I'm talking about Jay-Z, Beyonce, and even Diddy. You guys know these celebrities have tried to keep their bad acts under wraps, but now these people who were involved are falling and getting in trouble and others are speaking out. Unfortunately, Ron may have passed away. I say may because I have found a few different sources that do say he died in September of this year but then others that haven't really confirmed it. I'm oh, kind of Lord, under the impression sorry. that he has passed away, and we're not entirely sure what led up to this. There are some people saying, Sloan, talk about Uncle Ron. You know, he was Let me do a quick Google, child. Sloan, why don't I try to put my trust back in you? Let media, me know, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Now, the internet you is reacting do. as Diddy's alleged bodyguard, Uncle Ron, has died, saying he had a lot to say about Jay-Z and Beyonce. Now, we do not want Beyonce to be coming after me, so we're to say that this is all alleged it's coming from uncle ron this article reads the recent death of uncle ron a former celebrity bodyguard who had ties with beyonce jay-z and diddy has come under scrutiny on social media this comes after ron alleged in a tiktok video that jay-z and diddy wanted big the toys big big <laughs> killed um uh, rest in peace big by the way and uh, um ron is being discussed online as diddy faces this charge who the now, fuck is this? This is where it gets a little crazy. He died last month. He was only 59 years old, very young. Some people are swirly whirling around that he died of that same pneumonia that Kim Porter had. Hmm. Sounds a little bit shady. Some Who are, are you, sir? Oh my god. Some airlines banned me, so this is how I have to travel. Every time I travel, I used to buy two or three seats. So I started a campaign requesting bigger seats and then You look a fucking mess, lady. You know what? I accidentally scrolled and this is what was shown to me. Oh my god. Okay, I cannot find any reputable source about the situation, so this is all speculation. Jesus Christ. And they're questioning whether he was removed because he is a witness. I mean, celebrity bodyguards, especially at this level of celebrity, I'm they see a lot. I'm sure a lot of really damning things. And I'm sure there are plenty of threats to stay silent. On October 24th, it looks like someone on Facebook, a blog, posted a video saying that Uncle Ron, whose name is Ron Smith, <laughs> was found dead 24 hours after making a video saying that Diddy and Jay-Z unalived Biggie. Well, is this just coincidence, or do you think there's more to it 24 hours after making the video he's gone so if his like uh, you know followers are noticing this connection there's probably something here i must admit i was not hit up to uncle ron's social media platform before his unfortunate passing now this video is circulating the internet where you can see uncle ron talking about jay-z and did he wanting biggie gone biggie wanted to leave bad boy records and these two did not want to see that money going anywhere biggie mentioned that he was tired of being used abused and that he was bigger than bad boy records itself now here is that clip of uncle ron speaking jay-z and puffy wanted biggie killed Bottom line, you don't have to believe me, believe the facts. Here's a man that wanted to leave Bad Boy. He wanted to do his own thing. He mentioned several times how he was tired of being used and abused, that he was bigger than Bad Boy itself. Somebody, and we ain't gonna call no more names, dangled a bogus contract in front of his face so he wouldn't leave the company. How I know I was there. Another thing, Jay-Z wanted him out of the industry, period, so he could take over and be the biggest hip-hop artist around. And I wonder who's the biggest hip-hop artist today. 
Now, my impression of Uncle Ron is that he's not out here trying to get clout or trying to be a celebrity on his own. I think that he's got some things that he has seen and heard over the years kind of pent up, and he's ready to speak out. Now, according to this website, Bristol Film Festival, it looks like um, Ron Smith also alleged that Diddy had approached him in 1997 to carry out the death of Biggie. So not only to be his bodyguard, but to go and commit the crime on his own time. He said back in March 1st, 1997, Diddy approached him and offered him $30,000 to put a hit on Biggie. All of this mm -hmm. is alleged. He said the reason was because Diddy allegedly wanted the rights to Biggie's catalog. He also says that Biggie had plans of leaving Bad Boy. He goes on to say that Diddy is evil and that him and his mother have treated all of Diddy's employees like they were scum of the earth. And then he ends that video saying he has so much more to talk about when it comes to Diddy. According to Uncle Ron, Biggie wanted to leave Bad Boy because he was tired of being used and abused. And then he said somebody, but we're not going to say any more names, dangled a fake contract in front of Biggie so that he wouldn't leave. He said, I know this because I was there. He said, Jay-Z wanted Biggie out of the industry, period. According to Uncle Ron, Jay-Z wanted to be the biggest hip hop artist in the industry. And he said, look at him today. In his own words, he said, it's all business. These two billionaires have done what they seeded to do. Now, Uncle Ron passed away on September 14th, but the cause of death was not made public. Keep in mind, he was 59 years old, which is still pretty young to be passing away. Say exactly what that woman said. Video. Now, I've pulled some posts to from play. Uncle Ron's TikTok, so let's go ahead and review those. Like this one, I would like to inform everyone on TikTok of my husband's passing. Uncle Ron oh. will always be remembered in love if you could help with donations towards his funeral service. And um, it looks like it's a message from his wife, Evelyn. Another person added, this is Ronnie's son, Junior. Uh, my father's official GoFundMe is listed below. So they're right off asking for donations, which maybe they need the money. I don't know. I guess funerals are, you know, I mean, that's, their goal is 2,500. So, you know, funerals are expensive. Oh, I feel so bad for the kids and the wife, anyone to lose a family member. As many of you knew, my uncle loved TikTok. My dad was a beacon of light in the um, in the lives of so many. He was a devoted father and a cherished friend and a source of endless joy. Oh my gosh, no. Look at these comments over here. It looks like he was a truck driver um, after being a bodyguard. And it looks like his wife commented, Ronnie, I'll forever love you. It's never goodbye until we meet again. We love and miss you dearly. Ronnie Jr. Sky Hun, forever in our hearts. Oh, I'm gonna get choked up. I will forever love you and keep your memory alive. We miss you, your wife and sons. Oh, that is supposed to be. the sons are named like after him, Ronnie, and then it's like Sky, Sky Sun, Skyler? I don't know. But that makes me wanna cry. Oh, I don't want anyone's parents to die. Yo, how are we just not finding out the upper Ron How did this stay out of the media? And how the hell hasn't this been plastered all over TikTok? TikTok, you disappointed me. This was posted from Uncle Ron's official TikTok page by his wife on September 13th. It is now October 23rd, and it is just now hitting the blogs. And this thing remaining so low-key isn't the only thing that's suspicious. If you go to Uncle Ron's TikTok page, all of his videos are going to say the creator limited comments. This creator is stating that the reason why the comments are turned off is because people were in the comments asking, what happened to Uncle Ron? How did he pass away? And the family wanted to avoid the question because they wanted to stay safe. Now, there are a lot of conspiracies going on online, and I do think it's interesting to see the family not list a oh, cause of death. I mean, while I do think that's pretty personal, I think... If you scroll that all the way back before... Like, you just the didn't really see it coming. I mean, uh, On his TikTok, if you scroll all the way back before his family uh, posted that, it's just him, you know, making hella videos. So clearly this was his actual TikTok. So yes, somebody who had access to his phone clearly posted this on his behalf uh, to his actual TikTok. So maybe he is gone. Or maybe they scamming, I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm just gonna think. I don't think like that. He's probably going to RP. Maybe it is to protect themselves, saying like, yeah, it was a drive-by shooting. They probably don't want to say that because they don't want to be harmed themselves. But people are going crazy with these conspiracies. And, um, you know, one thing I love about conspiracy is like, it's just like a little bit away from theory. And like theories can be sometimes true. And I do think that sometimes these conspiracy theories are onto something. Patriots, I have this update. Just Justin, someone in, in my comments, thank you, asked me, how did Uncle Ron die? I have some answers now. This is where it gets a little crazy. He died last month. He was only this, 59 years old, very young. Some people are swirly whirling around that he died of that same pneumonia that Kim Porter had. Mm. Sounds a little bit shady. Sounds like maybe the diddler had him taken care of because here's is something he really crazy. Mention? I had myself and my people reach out to his family because his TikTok page is still active and people in the comments are asking, what happened to Uncle Ron? What happened? What is the family doing? Sir. Deleting all of the comments if you go over to uncle ron's tiktok page try this patriots i did it say what happened to ron how did he expire they delete your question why 
Expire. Sorry, I never heard that. How do you expire? Is that the new Unalive? Because they want to keep their He doing like the fucking money. You know what? I hate care everybody. About because the diddler is not done with his nastiness. Not the diddler, but if he was poisoned, that would be fascinating. <laughs> not Especially because it. I'm pretty sure that's how Kim Porter allegedly went. This comment reads, Uncle Ron was obviously taken out. Good lord, the diddy death toll. He did speak about Jay-Z and Beyonce, so let's talk about what he had to say. He made headlines back in January 2023 for claiming to have inside information and receipts about Jay-Z and Beyonce, saying that they wanted to destroy Carrie Hilson's career, which I've actually found some requests for that video. Comment below if you want to see that. Uncle Ron then alleged that Beyonce consumed drugs while sharing how hateful the couple was. Actually, I remember talking about you, Uncle Ron, in the Beyonce video. He said, yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Now, after some videos went viral in February, including, I don't think my video went viral, but after people started talking about what Uncle Ron had said, he had some consequences. This headline reads that Beyonce's former bodyguard speaks again, suggesting that Beyonce and Jay-Z may be trying to kill him. So was that their plan from the jump, but they just did not act on it until they really need to? He claims that he witnessed Beyonce using hard drugs. Well, it looks like Beyonce's team has gotten to Uncle Ron, and now he's singing a different tune. He returned to TikTok to explain that he's deleted all his videos Wouldn't about there be Beyonce, some evidence saying that he'll never speak about the Carters again. It's he said he does not retract any of his statements, but he will no longer speak about them. He added, if any fans have any questions, to talk to his attorneys. Ron then made what it appears to be an ominous prediction. The older gentleman told fans that he does not drink or do drugs in case anything happens to him. Ron also implies that the Carters are holding something dear to him that he wants back that no amount of money could buy his silence. Interesting. So I wonder what they would have that is his that he wants back and he's complying for. This is so, like, scary, right guys? What do you think? Now, in March 2024, things started to reignite again, and Uncle Ron got himself in some trouble because he posted this video on TikTok. Hey, this is everybody's Uncle Ron, and let me tell you this. Uh, within the next couple of months, a whole lot of new stuff is going to surface. A whole lot of new names. Wait, that is crazy because if you think March 2024, March is when Diddy's places were raided. So then he probably was made contact with and told everything he knows so he knows what's coming. And maybe he's a witness and that's why he was unalive because he would be a witness in this entire investigation and they figured it out so they got rid of witnesses so there is no testimony. There's no people to prove that they committed these crimes. Things are going to come up that you guys were not aware of, uh, including the bodyguards who were involved. Young. You have to remember the uh, personal assistances who were involved, who saw things. I like his eyebrows. There were things that Jennifer Lopez so. saw that... Um, oh my gosh, we just talked about another video, how J-Lo could be a celebrity B listed in a lawsuit from when Diddy's 13-year-old victim was R-worded after the 2000 MTV VMAs. And J-Lo was effing there. She may be even called upon because he's so trapped. <laughs> a lot of stuff was. Uh, we do not know if Jello was there. Why would you say and that? And unfortunately, they saw things. So it's it's gonna all come forward. He gonna get the personal call uh, to find out. Hey man, uh, how can we sweep this under the rug? We can't sweep it under the rug, man. It's done. Wait. So who called him? Who's the personal call? Who called him saying, "Hey, how do we get rid of this?" Ooh, and then Uncle Ron said, "It's too late." It's a done deal. And I will refuse to withdraw from my statements. So, the things that will happen, they're definitely going to happen. And look forward to it, because Uncle Ron told you so. I told you over a year ago that uh, some of this stuff happened. Now, I'm telling you again, mm. it's getting ready to go down on a federal. Um, because he's literally, he literally was contacted during the raids, and if he's saying that Beyonce and Jay-Z did what they did, and then we've got Beyonce sitting... Like next to the next president actually this video will probably be posted after we figure out who the next president is but this is a scary world what on a federal stage so buckle up no. it's be a ride. <laughs> well i really wish uncle Ron was here to so go and see everything play out because he and probably would have been one of the best witnesses now i'm sure that he's just one of many people there are probably other people out there who aren't on social media and who are kind of gonna like stay silent until the trial happens but i would say if you are someone out there that has that information i would probably really keep it on the down low because i feel like they're going after people and Seems like they've got some techniques to unalive pretty swiftly. Either way, rest in peace, Uncle Ron. Um, it's so unfortunate that he's gone, and yeah, he hopefully does. his family is protected. But let's oh, go ahead and open this video. No, Sloan is messy. Okay, <laughs> he messy, and I don't, I don't really know what to believe. But you know, sometimes people send me his videos to react to. Most of the time, I'm like no, but sometimes I'm like, hmm, I wonder what that's about. <laughs> Uh, and this one, you know, piqued my uh, curiosity. So I was like, all right, let's check it out. But child, I will say though. That is his TikTok account. I just checked, and uh, somebody who knows him clearly got access to his TikTok account. Um, but we still don't know if he actually passed. What if he was getting threats, and he decided to fake his death in order to, you know, get people off his back? 
you know, off these trails. They'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, he died, but we'll leave him alone. Which, I don't know how effective that would be. Uh, or maybe he actually is gone. But I'm like, is there no article or nothing that nobody could find? Like, if he was found dead in his house, like, wouldn't there be something somewhere, you know, that somebody could find and provide some type of source? So, I, I really don't know what to believe. But if he did pass RIP, that is messed up. Um, and it does sound like he was kind of predicting stuff. He said shit was about to go down on a federal level, and that was in March before, you know, that he got picked up by the feds. So, hmm, interesting. But, yeah, who knows? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!